Hi guys, welcome to another episode. We are now on episode four and I am excited because today's topic, we're just going to jump right on into it, is OnlyFans. You can already guess why this would be a popular subject because I feel like it's just talked about even though like a lot of people don't know um, that OnlyFans has been around for a couple years now. I would say probably about three three plus years or so. I know I've been on. It's going to be three years for me in February. So yeah, uh, it's been around for a while. But you know, for I, I personally feel like um, a lot of the popularity or like why it became so mainstream is because of the pandemic like let's be honest um because like i said it's always been a thing but now people you know when they we knew people knew about it but then people started joking like oh maybe i'm gonna make only fans because i'm not working right now and i need some extra money blah blah blah, blah like which is fucking valid i understand like we all need to like you know uh some of us who didn't have a side hustle or whatever need to do what the fuck you gotta do to make ends meet during a time like this i get it but OnlyFans is not for everybody. And that's kind of like what I keep drilling into people's heads. Like, and 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 that's okay. Because, you know what, OnlyFans isn't for everybody. But painting isn't for everybody. Fucking welding isn't for everybody. Accounting isn't for everybody. Like, there's different things that we're good at or that we have a talent in. And that, you know, fucking works for us. So, um, so obviously, we all know what the fuck OnlyFans is. It's, it's, it's um, a social media-based tool. Like, but it's not... It is social media, but like you can. So obviously, you post uncensored work on there. Like it's not you're not you're not gonna get banned or flagged like you would on Instagram or Facebook. Um, so that's the good thing about it. And obviously, the better part about it is that you can make money, money, honey, from this um from this shit. You know, you could you set a uh, price for the page, you know, so people won't see anything um, until they until they pay for your page. Um, some people do have free pages, which is cool too. But either way, there's some money, like the incentive behind that as well. So it's a great time to be alive. I feel like even though people have been late to the game uh, and people didn't know about it, I understand how some people will make more skeptical a little bit at first. Maybe they want to see how shit was going for other people, and then they try to rock with it. I've been doing it for almost three years now. I'm about to have like a little third anniversary party or some shit. I don't know. I have to think about that. Um, and um, so like, I mean, what are the fucking, let, let's just, let's just do it. Let's dive into the stereotypes because I already talked about how wonderful OnlyFans is and how you can make money from it. And if you're someone who takes this serious, you know, it could be a, you know, it could be a difference from making side money to making some real money that you don't have to, that you can quit that fucking job you hate so much if you see fit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but of course, with all these um, great things, you know, there or like new platforms that are on, you know, that are coming out, uh, there will always be people to have some that will have something to say about it. That's expected. And I'm fine with that, you know, because it's just like we do a lot of us do so much shit <laughs> for free and you could think about this to yourself like think about all the stuff and i'm not even talking about sex so we, we could talk about that <laughs> um but like just think of all the shit you've done for free and you know like you should have charged for it and you're thinking about it like now like god damn you know what i'm saying like fuck it man we all out here to to make a dollar and i just strongly feel like people should just be hustlers and just be open-minded to shit like that especially during the fucking pandemic when you're like oh fuck what i gotta do you know what I'm saying? But so the stereotypes, I mean, obviously, mo a lot of people feel like, you know, if you have an OnlyFans, for one, that you do porn, um, which I will say, not everybody on OnlyFans does porn. Not everybody does it. A lot of some people are not comfortable with it. Some girls are just cool with their models, you know, and they take um, the, the boudoir sexy photos and a lot of them Instagram will ban you and delete you for posting it. So it's just like, fuck it. And that's how I got started into it. I said it like on my first episode is that that's how it started for me. Is I just was, you know, there was a lot of photos that I couldn't post because they showed my genitalia, my titties, whatever. And even a little bit of shit gets you fucking banned. So, 
you know, that's, um, so some girls, you know, or some people rather, uh, they, they just do that. They're just okay with showing their boobies, their, their private parts, but they're not into like, you know, I'm not, I'm not fucking nobody. I'm not even, you know, I'm, I don't do camming. So like, I'm not going to play with myself, which, which is totally cool. Like everybody has like their boundaries and what they do and don't do. My argument always has and always will be just be honest about it. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, like I said, the misconception is a lot, which I get it a lot. There is a lot of porn in there, obviously. Like, hello, look at me. Um, but I do respect people that don't do it. So then when some of these girls get asked these questions, they get mad. Like, oh, what the fuck? Like I said, I don't do it. But it's like, you know, it's like you can't really get mad at it. But then you just be straight up. Be like, listen, this is what I do. This is what I don't do. You'll always get people who ask fucking questions. It just, it is what it is. It's the name of the fucking game. So, I mean, so obviously there's that. And then there's just people who obviously just feel like the way that they do about, you know, porn stars or people who do this this uh, this type of sex work it, um, is that you're easy. That, you know what I'm saying? They, that someone's just going to purchase your OnlyFans and, you know, they, they're just going to fuck right away. It's just, it's, it's all the old shit that we knew and we grew up with that we love. <laughs> Uh, and it's just, it, it just became more like now that we're in the social media and, and, and digital age and, and shit like that, like now it's just made it easier for people to be like, oh, she's a fucking whore. She's a slut because she's showing her pussy all out and blah, blah, blah. And she's promoting her only fans on her social media, which everybody promotes their uh, businesses on social media. Hello. Like, are you fucking kidding me? So obviously there's that and i don't want to divulge too much in that and then there's also another stereotype uh is that like for pricing because everybody has this thing about price of pussy right and just a lot of people feel like oh well this girl's page is six dollars and this girl's page is 25.99 is that the worth of your fucking pussy blah, blah. so tired of this you know what i mean there's just a lot of comparison too and and there's all like the, you know especially when it comes to prices like oh you charge for this oh well, i charge for that and i don't da, 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 da. and it's just like whatever the fuck works for you works for you and it obviously does not mean you know your pussy is worth 6.99 like i don't understand i, I don't get it some people it, but i just have to bring it up because it's still a thing uh and what's another stereotype i guess that a lot of people feel like if you do OnlyFans and damn bitch, like you hit the bottom of the fucking barrel, like that's that's where the fuck you got into in life is that, you know, you're on this fucking uh, website and you're just selling your shit, uh, you know, or your news and your and your videos, and it, it's <sighs> just breathe a little bit because you know what, a lot of people you have to. I'll say this, you have to just have very tough skin in this industry and, and having something like an OnlyFans because if not, these little comments will chew you up and, 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 and eat you alive pretty much. And I understand that some people will feel a way about certain people in their life knowing that they have an OnlyFans, but I don't know what to tell you. It's it, it's tough. It's very tough. A lot of people don't talk about the mental aspect of this and, and the stuff that gets said to them and, and how family members won't speak to them and just stuff that's said behind their back of people they thought that supported them. Like... It's a lot of shit, you know, and there's like, there's a whole mental aspect of it that nobody really talks about. So that's, that's kind of what I say because people are going to say rude, rude fucked up shit all the time. And most of the time it's from people who don't fucking know a thing about you either. They're the ones who will really like be going hard, like hating on you. And it's like, you know, you just have to like be stronger than that shit. I don't, I don't know what else to say other than that, really, because these people just be talking that shit. A lot of them be hating, girl. A lot of them be fucking hating. They just be hating because they have to fucking go to their bum ass job, their nine to five, and they fucking to a fucking job that they can't stand, a boss that they hate, and they're fucking undervalued at their job, and all this extra bullshit, blah blah blah, and so much shit. And then they take it out on you because you know you're doing what the fuck you gotta do. You enjoy what you do. And you're making money from it. Like, that's just almost like a hard thing for some people to, to grasp. So, but whatever. Uh, I, like, I, I think that's pretty much the stereotypes in a fucking nutshell. The same shit you could you could think about any stereotype for a stripper, for a porn star, for a king, for anything. This would be the same thing for OnlyFans. Uh, so, you know, is it profitable? It's a question I get a lot. Obviously, like, I have been able to afford luxuries in my life um and i know people who have been doing this for a while and they've bought houses i'm 
on my way, on my way. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? So yes, to answer the question, yes, it is profitable, but, but it is a hustler's game. And I know that a lot of people, they say that they're a hustler and I don't take nothing away from nobody. I'm like, yo, if that's what, if, you know, some people are good at this and they're good at that. I won't take that shit from you, but this is a different type of hustle. You're selling, you know, yourself and in your body. You know what I mean? Like maybe not physically, but again. So it is profitable, but it's up to you. It's an entrepreneurship thing. So you can, can you know, you make, you determine the difference of you making $45 a month, $4,500 a month. That, that's really what it is in, in short term. So, <sighs> Bella Thorne, I can't get anywhere without talking about OnlyFans, without talking about this bitch. Uh, so how do I fucking put this in short terms? We hate this bitch, pretty much, for what she did. Uh, how she's this fucking... I don't know who the fuck she was, but she's this famous bitch. She's a celebrity who got an OnlyFans. And I would just say this to, to kind of put all the only the celebrities who want to make OnlyFans into one fucking big bubble. Don't fucking do it. It's not for you. It's not your fucking game. The game is for us, for people like us who are not fucking famous, who don't have millions and billions of dollars. That's that's really the name the name of this fucking game of, of this game at least you know it's like so when people like her who already are going to fucking make money right right off the fucking gate because of who they are because of their status because people know who the fuck they are some of them may be household names you know what I'm saying like so they're already just gonna make money off of that well everybody else who was like normal like you know like everybody else like like you and I and shit. <laughs> we got to start from the fucking bottom. We got to start from scratch. And these people, it, it's just, and I don't want to be this person who's boohooing and da da da, like, oh, it's not fair. But it really isn't fucking fair. And everybody can find something in their life or something that that directly affects them and will say, like, yeah, that's not fucking fair. That's fucked up. A lot of the shit in society is fucked up. And it's they're more fucked up to us, to sex workers, for the little people. You know what I mean? Like, it's like almost like like we had something that was given to us, like a gift. Like, oh my God. Like, OnlyFans is the amazing shit for me. It has changed my fucking life on some real shit. And I'm not one to be dramatic or whatever, but it's the truth. So, you know, like this was given to us. And then now celebrities are hopping on the bad wagon. And it's like they're yanking. They're taking away from us. It's like a reverse Robin Hood. Like, you don't, like, you don't fucking do that. So, and then it just, this whole shit about how it also throws the algorithm off. Because, listen, OnlyFans is not like some million, uh, well, maybe they're million, I don't know. Billion dollar big company like fucking Google, for example. You know what I mean? Like, they don't have this money to just give away like that. So when celebrities get on there, it just fucks things up for everybody. So that's why so many people were fucking mad. Like, it was, oh, why did I, why you get so mad for it? It's not directly affecting you. Yes, the fuck it was. It was the uh, me, my fellow sex workers, just everybody in the industry. So, yeah, people who have, listen, you already got the fucking money. You got the fame. Like, let us fucking have it. Can we just fucking have this? Y'all got everything else. The Bugattis and Lamborghinis, the fucking five houses and the, the house in France and shit like that. This is not for you. So yeah, that's simply put. So that's kind of like a reason why we were so mad. Cause it's just it's just like, like I said, you think about something in your life that you can relate, and I'm I'm pretty sure we can come to an understanding on that. So that's why we was all mad. Um, so another question that I get, like real quick, like two or three like frequently asked questions that I get about OnlyFans. Um, can anybody have one? Yes. Yes, you can. People of all shapes, sizes, genders, races, religions, they, they're all on OnlyFans. I've seen it all personally. So yes, don't second guess yourself if you feel like you can't. Yes, there's a huge community out there for everybody, for every single person walking this earth. So to say that you can't have one is is, is just a lie, you're, the lie you're telling yourself. You need to be more confident in whatever it is that you want to do, whatever avenue you want to pursue when you get on there, and just fucking go for it. There's people on there, again, like, you don't have to do porn. Like, there's people who do so much other shit. It's just a platform for entrepreneurs to make fucking money off of shit, like, like we all should. So, um... I already said the money thing. Yeah, that's um, that's that's very frequently asked. Um, but I will say this. So last last question I get asked about promotion, because a lot of people they have an OnlyFans and they do the porn. 
um, but they want to be secret. They don't want their employers to know. They don't want their family to know, which is valid. I understand that. So a lot of people, you know, they can't necessarily promote their work on on Twitter or on Instagram or any social media app for that for uh for that matter because you know a fear of people finding out. So um, that's the only thing that gets a little bit tricky is like promotion because how the hell are you gonna get you're gonna you're gonna have people know about you and get yourself out there when you really can't get yourself out there for you know one reason or another so that i will say it's tough because a lot of people i know that do have it they keep it on the down low they only tell people that they know that they trust or whatever or if they promote themselves like on twitter they'll go on a different name they'll have a mask on they'll they'll not show their faces there's a lot of other stuff so that's pretty much it um, a little quick down on OnlyFans. I hope that maybe if you didn't know what the fuck OnlyFans was, that now maybe you know a little bit more about it. I will say this real quickly. I will be dropping an ebook very soon. I know I've been saying it for a minute, but I am because I've been on OnlyFans, like I said, uh, for almost three years now, and I've been pretty successful at it. So it's been a thought in my mind now for a while that I should make an ebook um, to kind of share my tips. And ideas with you for success um it will be available for purchase but it is something that you can have with you for the rest of your life you can reference it do whatever you want so that will be coming very soon i think it'll be very helpful to a lot of people because i just get tons of questions almost on a daily basis from men from women from everybody asking me how do i start an only fans how do i do this how to do, do that and it's just like with all due respect i have to put something together but like the hustler in me you know but like i said it's something that you can also have it's not like you just get this one thing you don't you have this so that way you can go look for it look for any of the answers that you have questions that you have the answers will be there so look out for that coming very soon and thank you guys again for watching um every monday new videos will drop so stay tuned for next week bye